good day to everyone and i welcome you to the another episode on mold flows tip and workflow in this episode i'm going to show you the difference on to the design advisor or design advice analysis available in fusion 360 which is part of the product design extension and the mold flow design advice analysis available Uh, advisor that there have been a little bit of queries of the community on uh, how we differentiate this type of analysis and which make more relevant for the product designer and an analyst or a product designer using a mold flow advisor for the analysis as you can see i have taken a a, a geometry which is a i would say a vacuum cleaner upper case and what i did a very quick analysis in this i run a design advice within the fusion 360 considering this as you see my mouse this is considered as an parting line and i have used the abs material for the analysis purpose and with that probably i have got the analysis results showing the thickness which are too much in variation under cuts drafts and knife edges now as you can see here the analysis shows a whole list up front like what are the design rules that are been not followed and which are the areas that are going beyond the given design rules so one by one we will have a quick look at it like in the thickness here it shows a quick a uh, large variation in the thickness and it highlights those areas which are undergoing a large variation in thickness plus two thick sections and uh, two thin sections in the part as well as it also lists down the areas particularly if you are interested in looking at like a two thick sections show me the areas which are in this range of 2.4 to 6.5 and it will go and clearly highlight those areas like in this case it has highlighted this area which is having a thickness of 2.4 to 6 point so it all talks about the geometry and taking the analyst or the sorry not analyst but a product designer where the he has invalidate those plastic product design and being in a fusion he can always make those changes he there and there itself plus you know you can go and isolate that region like in this case i isolated so that my focus remains only in that region and of course i can go back to the show all plots as well plus i have like a thickness plot but here i cannot do a query like you know if the user wants to go and check the thickness over here like what is the thickness over here showing but i can always go and change my legend value showing that hey thickness is in this range of like going all the way from 5 mm 4.9 to 6.3 these are the sections over here but not that into the detail where i can do a query for for those things same like i can move from here to show the areas which are are having a undercuts like in this area these are the holes for the air vents and these are all air undercuts and so as other regions as well and it lists the regions which are having the undercut plus it also gives the advice over here you can see the advice is following over here and then i will go and look at into the draft angles and as you can see now i am in the draft angle and it shows that areas which are having a zero draft actually so it goes and clearly highlights the areas which are like 
zero highlight or zero draft and then the designer and engineers uh, can can take any actually uh, action whether should i go and change the draft angle in that region so this is something at the geometry level now if i run the same part in the advisor like and push in the part from here i can go ahead and just go into the utility and push in the part from here to the advisor i will open this part and quickly run the design advice analysis within the advisor okay. so i run a quick analysis of design advice analysis and first we'll start with the nominal wall thickness and uh, as you can see now here i have got a percentage band over here and which i can see that my nominal wall thickness is of 2 mm but i can see that my nominal wall thickness is of 2 2.5 and accordingly it changes all together showing the areas which are like an you know thick sections and those uh, with the having a thickness more than 150% of the given no nominal wall thickness and we can go and check out on those but if you want to see the values is option now we can see the values plus i can do the queries as well over here which was not earlier possible with the fusion 360 design analysis so if you need a, a detailed query on it then uh then the advisor analysis or the design analysis will help over here the another thing is uh, going into the draft angle now it shows much detailed draft angle analysis as compared to the uh, available in the fusion because it only shows the areas which draft is not given but here it shows each and everything even a zero draft or a parallel draft or like 90 degree surface everything is been shown here and you also get an access to do the query each and every section over here so it is having a little deeper an analysis over here and same is the undercut yeah the undercut is is much in detail much higher resolution as compared to the fusion 360 and uh, so the i like the most part of it is a summary but i can do a summary saying that hey these are the sections which are like the nominal wall thickness which is less than 50% of the nominal wall thickness percentage wise and you can see that 20 thickness within 20% of the nominal wall thickness is almost 80% very close to so most of the region is close to 2 mm I accept like few of the thicker sections at those areas. Draft angles where we are missing the greater than 3 degree is 82 percent. So this gives a much detailed report of the summary. But we here we are think it lacks is that it doesn't give the advice what to be done. Which the fusion three gives the advice. So each of these analysis has some merits as well as. Uh, you know remerits compared to the each of this one but if i would say that if you are a product designer i would recommend that you do the analysis revision the fusion 360 product design advice uh, or the design advice because it has the ability to make the changes there and there itself but saying so even if you are a product designer as well as a analyst you can still go and make the changes uh, in the fusion tricks see come back over here and do a much detailed analysis in that visor i hope this this differentiation will help you to know that where to run which analysis and what has uh, the merits of each analysis thank you for your time and we'll talk to you again